Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. In your registration form, have you ever needed to have the approval from administrator, for example, after the registration of users? So this is exactly what I will show in this video based on a new premium project we released on filamentexamples.com. And as a tradition on YouTube, I will summarize it for you, the main parts. How to implement user approvals by administrator. First, a quick demo. This is the user approvals from administrator, empty for now, and if I log out, as administrator and then I sign up for a new account, fake filler Chrome extension, I sign up and then I see this page, verification pending and I'm waiting for the approval. Now I log out and then I log in with admin again, sign in, go to user approvals and here I see the user in the list. I click the checkbox and then it is approved by user and in the database we have this in the users table so admin and then approved at and approved by with user id foreign key. Now how does it look in the code? And every project in our filamentexamples.com in its repository it has a readme file with instructions and tutorial with code snippets so I will read some parts of it. After setting up the database, this is what you need to know from filament side. You need to add a registration page, add that to your admin panel provider. And by the way, those TLs are for highlighting on the page. Those are torchlight syntax pieces. In that page of registration, you assign the default user. That's the only purpose why we need that custom registration page. Next, we define the middleware of approved or not users, and we will add that globally for all the filament pages, checking whether that user is approved or not. If not, we redirect to verification pending page, which is a simple page with a blade view without any navigation and repeating the main things from simple page in filament. This is the blade part of that page, and then we add that middleware in the admin panel provider and here. So this is the user part. Now the admin part to manage user approvals, we make a separate filament resource and although it's called user approvals resource, we attach that to user class just with different name. So that's why it's different navigation label, customized model label. This is important, the security part. So who can see that menu item? And then in the table, we just show the users no admin role with columns and one of the columns is very important checkbox column and when you click that when approved this happens when disapproved that happens and finally optionally you may send a notification for example email notification to the user that you have been approved and you can log in and use all the features of the application so yeah that's kind of the main logic how we implemented it maybe you would have done something differently, we can discuss in the comments below. And as usual, you can get the source of that repository. If you purchase the whole filament examples bundle, you can call it. It's a one-time purchase for all the repositories, currently 57 projects, and we're in progress of creating more of them. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.